Hello everyone and welcome to my channel Zen Within Me. Okay, today's reading is going to be for Cancer Sun Moon Rising and this is your career and finance reading for April, May, June of 2021. All right, so without further ado, my darlings, let's get into it. Okay, guides, guardians, ancestors, angels, and ancient gods, please give me clear and concise messages for Cancer Sun Moon Rising regarding their career and finances for April, May, June of 2021. Okay, what does Cancer need to know for April, May, June of 2021 regarding their career and finances, please? All right, so starting off with the Knight of Cups. Definitely have uh, an invitation coming. Uh, something that includes your, has to do, I should say, with your passion. Okay, this is, uh, somebody's very excited to invite you to something. I'm getting, it could be an event or uh, offering you a job, you know, inviting you to come in for a meeting. Okay, temperance, doing things in moderation. Harmony, compatibility, perfect union, okay? So this is something that's gonna actually work perfectly for you. If you applied for a job, they're gonna be very excited to call you in because they feel that you fit very well with the company, with what they represent, what they stand for, and they're just really excited to have you come in to meet you and to get started with you. That's definitely what I'm seeing here. Now, if this is a previous employer that maybe had to let you go, uh, not because they wanted to, but because they had to due to the circumstances and stuff like that, um, they're going to be very excited to call you and have you come back in. So however way it resonates, all right, that's for you. All right, so very good message, very good message. I'm, I'm seeing here definitely someone's interested in hiring you. They like you. And uh, for some of you, I'm seeing they may just do like a trial period with uh, doing things in moderation, you know. But they do like you. They are interested. What other messages do we have for cancer regarding career and finance? Thank you so much. Okay, so we have here worthiness know that you deserve to receive good in all ways so you might be thinking like wow this is too good to be true like this this job is perfect it's amazing this is what i wanted like they don't want me what's the catch you know no you are worth it they do want you they do like you don't don't think like that okay and then we have soulmate relationship coming through so this message of the guides feel are very important for you to know. New romance with a spiritual basis is here for you now. So this new opportunity may bring in your soulmate. See how you're looking for career and finance and you're going to find love. That's how it works. Watch your thoughts. It's important to only think about what you desire, not what you fear. Okay? That goes, I feel, here with worthiness. You are worthy. Don't sabotage yourself by thinking... This is too good to be true. Nah, that's how you're going to screw it up. Don't do that. All right. So let's see. What other messages do we have for cancer regarding their career and finances for April, May, June 2021? All right. Strength. Everything you've experienced in your life has made you strong and courageous. So stay strong. You're a tough one, so just keep doing that. Creative expression. Your soul longs to express itself creatively. So you may have um, creative control here in this new job or previous job. What It's something that you can actually be you. They value your ideas. They value what you offer. Okay, so now we're going to go to my initial traits and features oracle deck, and I'm just going to be using the initial part of the deck. And let's see. Let's see what letters come out to help you figure out who is going to be hiring you, who's involved. 
So it's either initials or letters that will connect you to a person, place, or thing to what you have in question. All right, we got a lot of letters coming out here. All right, so first one, Ma. So maybe this has something to do with somebody's mother being involved here, helping out, or they know your mother. They may call her Ma. This might be somebody that you are very close with. Okay, also I'm getting Am. So you may need to do... Um, like a lot of convincing with yourself, like I am worthy, am worthiness. See how that's coming out? Watch your thoughts. I am worthy, all right? Does it look better if I do it like that? I am worthy. You have to make sure you, you continuously say that to yourself. Okay, now we actually have a name spelled out here. Sam, male or female, Samuel, Samantha, however it resonates, okay? But Sam is definitely spelled out here. Okay, and then we also have Ram hmm, for the sign. Look at that. That's funny. You wanted a sign. Okay. Then we have the letter V, S, and H. So Ham is also spelled out. Hamlet is coming through for some reason. So someone might be a fan of Hamlet. Someone might be a ham, you know, something to do with ham specifically. Also, sham is spelled out, so you might be like, eh, I'm not buying it. This is too good to be true. It's a sham. Watch your thoughts, okay, because it is not. So that's definitely coming through. Also, shave. Um, so someone, you may need to shave for the job, so if you are working from home and now you're going back into an office setting, they may require you to shave, look clean, cl clean cut, excuse me. And then we have also here, Mr. Mr. is coming through. So it might be like Mr. So-and-so, you know, some places are really laid back where they'll just be like, call me Gary, you know, this person might be like, oh, it's Mr. So-and-so, like, oh, okay. Or you're meeting a Mr not a missus or a miss, you know, but it could be miss. We got miss here too, miss, right? Okay. So H-A-V-M-S-R. We have missus too. Look at that. Ms, missus, and mister. Okay. H-A-V-M-R-S. However it resonates. Person, place, or thing, or actual initials. Okay. All right, so now let's go to the Lenormand deck and let's see what other messages do we have for cancer regarding their career and finance. Also harm and harms is spelled out here. Now, I don't know why that's here, harm. I, I feel like the energy I'm getting here with harms is you, you're really hard on yourself to the, po to the point, and that's why it's coming out with watch your thoughts, to the point that you're, you, you are harming your spirit. You are harming yourself with your thoughts of unworthiness, and you really need to stop that. Be, be strong here. Okay, don't do that because you may not realize if you've had some bad luck and stuff, you've been doing it to yourself because of your thoughts. So be really careful. And then also arms. So something with arm, arms, maybe Mr. So-and-so has his arm in a sling or something along those lines. Something with someone's arm. Um, maybe they'll, you know... like pat you on the arm arm is coming through here for some reason so just um keep that in mind also okay do you harm your arm hold on do you harm your arm are, are, do you uh are you um i don't want to say one of those because it's not that sounds awful and that's not how i mean it but like i know some people they they hurt themselves so do you like dig your nails into your arm? Do you harm your arm or something like that? Or like squeeze? You do something to your arm? Do you pinch? 
I don't know. You do something to harm your own arm, like when you get nervous or like to snap out of negative thoughts, like you, you hurt yourself to snap out of it. Um, just be careful, all right? Because you, you're so worthy and you don't need to think that way. And I don't know what you may have gone through in life to feel that way, but sweetie, you are very worthy here. Your guides are coming through and they're saying, you know, just stay strong because you are worthy and your thoughts are harming you. Okay, okay, so let's see. What do we have here? Okay, I'm going to refer to my book because I haven't read these cards in a while. So um, I see here you have the tower, which is fate. And the letters, which is messages, news coming through. And the Sith, Scythe, tomato, tomato, whatever. People don't need, like, I had somebody once a while back, they corrected the way I said something. That's what you got out of the whole reading. You focused on, I, I didn't say this to your liking really meanwhile people don't even text right anymore i see on the cover of magazines big magazines well omg wtf like really if we're putting that on magazines don't don't worry about my speech all right <laughs> come on you know big picture it's not that big of a deal all right all right so here like i said this is a very powerful card okay um this is destiny so it's destined for you to like cut through some crap here okay to get the news that you need that you want all right so let's go further into the tower okay so it represents protection from a hidden power or something that is destined okay this could be someone or something older or from the past Okay, so you might be getting, like I said before, someone from the past might be having you come back in. Um, this might be someone that is older than you that you're going to be working with. This is also letting you know you're going to live a long life. Okay, uh, but this is destiny. Okay, and like I, I really am being told to emphasize to those of you that need to hear this protection from a hidden power okay so you are protected and you are safe so i like i said again for those of you that need to hear this i don't know what you have gone through in your life but some of you have gone through something that's like really bad and really shitty and that's why you feel the need to harm yourself or to think negatively think you're not worthy you are being protected and watched over here okay and you are destined for great things, okay? So just know that, all right? Okay, so now let's see. 42 is the Sith, so let's go to that. Let's see, what do we have for that? Okay. Okay, so this is not a card of pain, but it is quite decisive and indicates a sharp break. All right, so in a reading, you must decipher its meaning from the cards around it. For on its own, it means very little, okay? So it could also suggest change, all right? So you are destined for change here. Okay, let's see if it says anything next to the letters or the tower. Okay, now it says if it appears besides the cross. It is not besides the cross, but this is similar to the cross. So a whole change of ambition or future path is indicated here. You're definitely in for a big change. And this big change is maybe something that you were going to think is mad bullshit. You know, like this doesn't happen to me. No, but you're destined for this. Everything else that you went through, it, it, that's over. You know, you have better coming to you now. And that's what the letters are about. Where are the stinking letters? Hold on. Oh, here they go. Okay, so news or a contract or a communication. A very happy card here with the letters. So I'm going to go to that page now, give you a little bit more details about it. Okay, very happy card. It's appearance suggesting news awaited that will shortly arrive. Inevitably, the degree to which the news is happy is born out of the appearance of positive cards. But even in its own right, this card suggests good news. 
could also mean a contract or invitation. So you might be getting something here with a job where they want to hire you for long term and they want you to sign a contract because they want to make sure that they don't lose you. All right. So like I said, this is fantastic news. This is definitely good coming in for you. Okay. Let's see. What other messages do we have for cancer here? Okay. What other messages do we have for cancer? All right. All right, from whom can I release my judgment right now? Okay, judgment closes our heart to truth and separates us from love. It binds us to our fear and holds us in shame. On who are you placing judgment right now? Is it someone in your life? Is it yourself? Release the shackles, drop the expectations, and be grateful for what is. Okay, so I'm going to read this part for you. Today's soul action. Look at the person you are judging as if you are looking at a small child. Let me close my window. Hang on. Sorry, guys. Neighbor's dog. I have no control over him. All right. So today's soul action. I'll start over. Look at the person you are judging as if you were looking at a small child. See them learning and growing, falling down and making mistakes. See their desire to be loved and accepted. Add even more grace to open your heart to this truth. When I lift the judgment from myself and others, I uncover my own truth. I am loved. I am whole. I am limitless. And so are they. All right? All right, beautiful. So that's your message, Cancer. Thank you guys so much for liking, sharing, watching, and subscribing. If you want to follow me for daily... Uh, content on TikTok. I have the link down below. If you want to buy the Oracle cards and get a free gift, bundle them up with the timing stones. I only have a few of the timing stones left and I'm not going to be restocking for a while. So get them while they're there. Uh, Zenwithinme.com or my Etsy shop, Zen Within Me. You want to buy a new house, Zen Within Me Homes on YouTube. Everything's down below in the description box. Other services, I got Wizio, all that good stuff. My merch shelf is right there down below. If you want to sport some Zen Within Me stuff, feel good within yourself and let everybody know I am Zen Within. Peace and love, guys. Stay safe, and I will see you in the next reading.